Hello everyone, Okianski here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a little free model that I made. Um, simply put, it's a terrain water boat that you place on terrain water, and it uses a vehicle seat. So it uses vehicle seat controls, and it works on PC, mobile, and console. And it's a free model, so you can get it from the link in the description. But I'm just going to be showing you guys how it works and how I made it. And it's actually related to the game that I'm making, so I'm releasing this while I'm making uh, or trying to make uh, the game that I'm currently working on. So uh, without further ado, let me show you how it works right now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just plop the model in and show you everything at once because it's pretty simple. It's only like four or five things total um, unique about this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up the folder and you'll see that uh, we have a parts and we have a vehicle seat. So the parts is pretty simple. They're just a bunch of unanchored parts that are all welded together um, using a simple weld script that you can just find, uh, you know, Quenty welding script or whatever, at, or just meld, weld it yourself manually, whatever uh, floats your boat, no pun intended. Um, anyway, the parts on top, uh, I actually use a custom density here so like this part right here has 0.15 and if I go near the bottom I select one of these parts uh, this part has a density of 1.5 so I intentionally put the parts on the bottom to be higher density than the ones on top so that way it kind of uh, always wants to have this part sink towards the bottom and this part floats tor towards the top and what that actually does is if I run this it's pretty much impossible to have this boat flip over so if I go ahead and actually rotate it myself upside down like that it will quickly find its way back up so it doesn't matter what I do I can try to flip it the other way on its side it's just gonna come right back up um, so those are the parts, pretty simple. And then inside we have the vehicle seat, which I placed towards the back. And inside we have a weld constraint to weld it to the boat, an attachment, and this attachment is where all the forces are applied. So inside of all the all of these forces, my attachment zero is just this attachment. And I have three I have three forces acting. Uh, on this boat at any given time and the first the main two are force and torque uh, this is a force uh, physics force object and this is a uh, torque physics object and then I also have a additional fictitious float and basically what that's there for is uh, when I made the bottom parts uh, very dense uh, the, the parts actually sunk really hard so if I go ahead and delete the fictitious float uh, the boat kind of sank too much, so I added that additional uh, force going upwards to help the boat um, position itself where I want it to be. So that one's um, just kind of a constant force. Uh, it doesn't get changed uh, by the script at all. And I'll show you the script after I uh, show you these three little lines. Uh, this blue, this upward line is the fictitious float. That one I just said. Uh, the force um, for moving it backwards and forwards, that's this one. And then, of course, this arrow going around, that's from the torque. That, that's the force that uh, helps the boat spin or steer. And if I go ahead and look at the script, I have a force value and a torque value. And I just go into my vehicle seats, force and torque object, F and T. Those are the ones I just talked about. And I go into their respective force and torque uh, vector 3 values. And I just run the numbers so vehicle seat has a throttle and a steer that change when the player uh, puts input into the vehicle seat so this one so there's three main forces um, that I apply to these two objects uh, the first one is a straightforward and backwards one that when you hold W or hold S uh, you're gonna send force either forwards or backwards depending on the vehicle seats uh, throttle because it's either one or negative one so that's what 
it sends you forward and backwards. Um, this is the steer, so that's just the torque times the whichever way you're steering, and then also whichever way you're going uh, forwards or backwards uh, because uh, it's actually inverse when you're going forward. So, I mean, that's just the way it has to be. And then lastly, I have the centripetal force, which is um, it just kind of when you steer to the left or right, not only do you have to spin the boat, but you also have to push it uh, to the left or right. So this one, this force actually goes sideways and that's it. And then I just have this in a function and then it go, go ahead and runs that function to update the forces every uh, weight. So every one thirtieth of a second. And that's really it. So if I go ahead and test it one more time. When I hold W, the force sends me forward, S backwards. And again, since this is just vehicle seat input, this works on console and mobile because it's just it's just the default Roblox uh, vehicle seat. So nothing nothing too custom, which is what I like the most about this. And again, uh, I'm working on this uh, for a game, so Hopefully you guys like this little um, free model that I'm just putting out there. Show you guys what I'm working on. Um, yep. I'll see you guys in the next video. And I hope you enjoyed it.